It's important to look at uh, trends in higher education because um, rising, uh, a rising proportion of the population with higher education goes hand in hand uh, with a shift towards more sophisticated job sectors. So what this really means is a shift away from primary industries like agriculture towards more service-based industries. And this tends to have a knock-on impact on the um, salaries and disposable income that consumers have. So a general trend is that um, the population with higher education is rising in nearly every country globally and has risen between 2009 and 2014. Um, so developed markets generally have a far higher percentage of the population with higher education than emerging. Emerging markets are catching up. So Canada, Israel and the USA are the countries globally that have the highest proportion of their population with higher education. And most of these countries have a population with higher education of around 35%. And the reason for that is that they're all wealthy, developed economies with world-class higher education systems. Ireland had the biggest growth in its population with higher education between 2009 and 2014. And this was because it still has um, some issues with high youth unemployment. So what it means is that it's... Um, younger population staying in education longer to get a competitive advantage in the job market. So Ireland was closely followed by Bulgaria and Lithuania and their population with higher education is rising really because of transition from, um, from primary industries to service-based industries which require um, higher level of skills.